In this video, we will describe the operation of the automatic hot food controllers using the factory settings. We will discuss powering up the unit, selecting the heating mode, operation do's and don'ts, auto setting on the controller, and maintenance of the hot well. The first step is to determine what menu items you will be serving. This will allow you to set up each well. Second, turn the unit on. Once you turn the power switch to on, the red LED light above standby will illuminate on each controller and off will appear on the screen. If you are going to use the well with water, you need to pour one gallon of water into each well used for the wet heat setting. However, if you select dry heat, you will not need to use water. Never pour water in a preheated well. Powering on the well. Hold the standby button down for approximately three seconds. H3 should appear on the screen. This is the normal factory setting for wet, high. The LED light next to wet, high, and load should illuminate and the heater should start heating the bottom of the pan. In the H3 setting, with the litter pan covering the well, normal tap water should reach 210 degrees in about 45 minutes. Beginning with hot water in the well will allow you to reach the maximum temperature in less time. Remember, you must use a pan or lid over the well in this setting to achieve this temperature. Operation do's and don'ts do. To change the heat setting to a higher or lower setting, press and hold the set button until set on the screen starts to blink. Next, press either the up arrow key for a higher setting or the down arrow key for a lower setting. Once you have selected your setting, press and hold the set button until the display stops blinking and your setting is displayed on the screen. Don't, never pour water in a preheated dry well. Powering off the unit. Turning the unit off at the end of the serving period can be done in two different ways. First, hold the standby button down for approximately three seconds on each controller. Off will appear on the screen. This puts the controller in an off position. Second, you can turn the main power switch to the off position. Auto restart. This controller has an auto restart feature. This means that you can program your controllers for your next serving period ahead of time. Simply put in the setting that you will need and turn the power switch to the off position. When the power switch is turned back to the on position, auto will display on the screen. The controller will automatically restart from the last set point. Maintenance of the hot well. Stainless steel requires little maintenance. However, if it is not cleaned properly, the protective coating of the stainless can become damaged. There are several good cleaners for stainless steel available, and you can find more detail about these in the owner's manual. However, the factory recommends that mild soap and water be used to clean the unit. Once the well has been cleaned, make sure it is dried of any excess water, as the water could contain chlorine. Over time, not properly drying the unit and allowing water to stand could cause damage to the stainless, leading to pitting starting in the bottom of the well. We hope that you found this operational video helpful. If you have any questions about this unit, please contact LTI's technical department. 